Hello kids, this is Miss Stimson here. Today we're gonna do something really, really fun. We're gonna be making monoprints. We're gonna be creating texture similar to what we see in water. We're gonna create pattern and waves with a sponge and paint. And I'm doing this on a ceramic tile, the kind you would find in your bathroom shower. It's very slick and it's easily drawn on with a popsicle stick. And it's very smooth. And we are going to make a print using paper and a sponge and water. Let me show you. Here is a sponge. We're gonna squeeze out the excess water and we're just going to slightly dampen the paper. Slightly dampen, do not oversaturate or soak your paper. We don't want it to rip. Then we're gonna turn it over and place it directly on our wave pattern that we just created on the tile. I want you to carefully smooth it with your fingers. Try not to get the extra paint on your fingers. We don't wanna go through wipes. And then you're gonna pull. You're going to see a copy of what you painted. You're gonna put your name on that and then put it to the side and then you're gonna go again. And this time you can play with maybe a different pattern. You can blend in some darker blue. You can use your finger and play. Today is all about having fun and creating these wave patterns. So depending on the type of wave, it could be choppy, it could be pointy and triangular, it could be smooth and wavy. We're gonna dampen our next sheet of paper slightly. Take my fingernail and just have some more fun. I just love scraping away the extra paint. And then, once again, let's do another pull. We're gonna smooth it, making sure that all of the paper has contact with our paint, and then pull for pull number two. And you can see the difference between these two patterns. It's called a mono print because each time you print, it's a different pattern. Here we have a jelly plate. This is a different way to print. These are really, really fun. We only have one per table, so I want you to share with your table mates. I want everybody to have a chance to print with us. And you're gonna smooth on the paint, and you're gonna take a popsicle stick, nothing too sharp or pointy. We don't wanna ruin or dig in to this jelly plate. Um, it just takes a smooth material or tool to create these markings. And then just like we did with the tile print, we're gonna just slightly dampen that sponge again, not over wet. And we're gonna turn our paper over and we're gonna pull another print. Now with this, you don't need as much water. You just wanna you know, a light application of water on your paper because otherwise it'll be kind of blurry like you see here. It's a little bit blurry, but this is super fun as well. I wanted to show you these two techniques. Printmaking is one of my favorite things. Here's a, here's a print I did earlier. Um, to clean your tile and your jelly plate, all you need is a baby wipe. Really simple. You can use the wipe to clean off your fingertips and then of course go back and clean off the tile for the next class. When these are dry, we're going to take them and cut them into thinner strips and we're going to create a collage. A collage is a piece of art where the artist will use separate smaller pieces or strips of paper or fabric or found materials to create a picture. And we're gonna overlap these to create the background of our aquatic uh, Florida wildlife art show piece. So this is of course step one. Um, I want you guys to have fun.